Welcome to this Arnold Clifford knitwear tutorial on working a short row heel. This is part two of our short row heel series. Please do check back and watch part one if you haven't already. I've now completed my pairs of short rows and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight unwrapped stitches in the middle of my heel section and I've got two, four, six, two, four, six wrapped stitches at each end of the heel. Your pattern will tell you how many unwrapped stitches you should have in the centre of your heel when you've completed the first part of your short row heel. I'm using the instructions from MDK Field Guide number 11, Wanderlust, and it's a lovely sock pattern by Wendy Bernard. If you'd like to purchase the pattern, do check the links in the notes that are associated with this YouTube video. I'm now going to take you through how to work the second half of the heel. So we've completed a wrong side row and we're now going to knit along until we reach the first wrapped stitch. So we're going to knit all of the unwrapped stitches. The last unwrapped stitch and this is now our first wrapped stitch. We're going to knit it. I'm leaving the wraps in place. I find that they make a nice decorative feature and there's really no need to worry about them on a short row heel. So we've knitted the first wrap stitch and we're now going to add a second wrap to this next stitch and we do that in exactly the same way as we did before. Bring the yarn to the opposite side of the work slip the stitch without twisting it, return the yarn and then return the stitch. We're now going to work back along the other side of the row. So we're purling and we're going to purl until we reach the first wrapped stitch. It can be slightly harder to see whether your purl side stitch has been wrapped or not. So if you're in any doubt, do have a look on the right side of the fabric. Beg your pardon. That last stitch was not wrapped, but this next stitch has a wrap at the base of it. So we're going to purl the wrapped stitch and we're now going to add a second wrap to the next stitch. Take the yarn to the opposite side of the work, slip the stitch, bring the yarn back to where it started and return the stitch. So there are now two wraps around the base of this stitch. Turn your work and we're now going to work along until we reach that first double wrap stitch. So none of these stitches have a wrap immediately at the base of them. So we knit all the way along, no wrap, no wrap. And then here is our first double wrap stitch. So we're going to knit that double wrap stitch. And now we're going to add another wrap to this next one. Bring the yarn to the opposite side, slip the stitch, return the yarn and return the stitch and turn the work. And then we purl along and we're looking again now for the first double wrapped stitch on the purl side. Oops. Okay, checking on the right side, this stitch is unwrapped. That's the next one that's got the double wrap. So we purl the unwrapped stitch, we purl the double wrapped stitch, and now we're going to add a second wrap to this next stitch. Take the yarn to the opposite side, slip the stitch, bring the yarn back, return the stitch, and turn. And we're starting to make that heel shape. 
You're now going to continue to work pairs of rows, knit and purl each time working to the double wrap stitch. You work the double wrapped stitch and then you add a wrap to the next stitch. This is the end of part two of how to work a short row heel. I'll be back in part three to show you how to return to working in the round. If you'd like to find out more about any of our techniques based books, then do click the link up in the corner here to visit our website and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel with the circle down on the bottom right here. Thanks ever so much for watching and do join us in part three to find out how to complete your short row heel. Bye bye.